the end of the search for a running mate. What has been a headache for Atiku Abubakar may have now been converted to political strength as the race to the 2023 presidential election gets intense. The presidential flag bearer of the PDP says the choice of Ifai Okoa was the outcome of wide consultation and negotiation. He says the governor of Delta State fits the bill. In arriving at the decision, I held wide consultations with various stakeholders in our party, including our governors, National Working Committee, Board of Trustees, and other leaders to seek their inputs and their wisdom. In these consultations, I made clear that my running mate would have the potential to succeed me at a moment's notice. That is a president in waiting. For Ifa Yokoa, the goal is winning the presidential election and he must be a willing partner to Atiku Abubakar. He says the PDP's presidential candidate is in the best position to rescue Nigeria and rebuild it. Do that. You need a man who has the right experience. And obviously on the field today of all those who have become presidential candidates of their various parties, uh, our former vice president, our candidate of the PDP, is the best position to be able to rescue Nigeria and to rebuild it. And going forward, uh, today I'm truly very excited that I've been asked to join that ticket to be able to work with him as his vice presidential candidate. I'll work with all my heart to see what we can do to rebuild it. This is the final lap of the first phase of this election. The distribution of sensitive materials to 16 local government areas across Ikita State. Security men, most of them from the police force, waiting to be deployed across the state alongside election materials that will be batched in different registration areas. Already we have distributed non-sensitive material to these, our offices. The last material they are waiting for is the sensitive material which they are going to get today and it will go to their local government and military security. Four national commissioners and eight resident electoral commissioners have been deployed to ensure AKT experiences a credible election. More than 749,000 voters, representing 76% of the total registered voters, have collected their permanent voter cards. The sensitive materials include ballot paper, result sheets, forms EC8B, collation sheets and beavers machine to 177 wards and 2,445 polling units. We intend to distribute all the sensitive materials. And this form part of the transparency that we have been embarking upon in the Commission. Not only saying this, but to see it that we are indeed transparent. All eyes are gradually shifting from INEC's office to the polls on Saturday when residents elect a governor of their choice. I think ADEC has actually come of age because even if you look at the ballot papers, colors, they are entirely different from one area to the other. So that means ADEC is ready to work and to make sure that uh, our votes count. But I think the problem now is CRBI. We should forget about talking about IDEC. We should face ourselves in the community. After his outing at the APC Special Convention in Abuja, supporters of the former governor of Ogun State and the incumbent senator representing the Ogun Central District have organized a welcome party for him at the Asian Palace of Ake Abe Ukuta. The supporters commended him for his love for his people and the progress of the country. While appreciating them for their solidarity, Ibukule Amoso urged his loyalists to continue to support all Progressive Congress and the party's presidential candidate. What I want you to do, all the love, all the support, all the prayers that you have been giving to me, I'm not saying you should stop, continue to give me that prayer. But please, extend that prayer to our party at the national level. As, please extend that courtesy, that support, that prayer, that every day that even without me giving you anything, all of you, you will go on your own, using your way with the little that you have for me. Please, I want you to now, what you are doing for me, please do it for our fair brother. 
pray for APC, support APC. Let us all campaign round because this is the only country that we have. We do not have any other country. He also promised them that despite numerous challenges confronting the country, he believes that the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress has the capacity to turn things around for good, urging his supporters to stand firm in support of the party.